Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about generating VA mortgage leads using Google Ads. Um, so we'll just jump right in. So we're going to be talking about you know the keyword targeting process, the campaign configuration process, utilizing negative keywords, ad copy, and then all the way to that landing page. So it's really important um, that we uh, that we start inside the keyword planner. Um, so I built something out. Um, but we'll start from scratch here. So you're going to hit start with keywords. So Google's going to give you the ability to find a ton of variations of VA loan keywords, VA loan searches um, from the get-go, right? So you're going to just type in VA loans, hit enter, VA mortgage, um, what else, right, VA calculator. And then it's going to hit get results. And then Google's going to give you a ton of different options, right? Um, there's something to think about here, right? We're going to start the keyword expansion inside, or the keyword um, creation inside Keyword Planner. However, in week two and three, you want to start to launch a phrase match or broad match campaign that allows you to expand your keywords to um, areas that you can't necessarily find in the Keyword Planner. Um, so you're going to just select all of these keywords, and you're going to run through the ones that don't fit your business, right? So say you find um, GI Bill Calculator, doesn't make sense. Um, web, I don't know what that is. Um, you're going to want to make sure you're not bidding on competitors because that's going to be very expensive and low ROI. Um, okay, IRRL, this is not a refinance campaign. Um, no business loan, okay, not a construction. All right, so you can just run through these um, and find what works for you and what doesn't, right? So convert these to exact match, um, and then add keywords to create a plan. Okay, um, so once the plan is created, we're going to go into forecast, and we're going to see exactly, um, you know, what's Google saying we can spend. What are our uh, what are our numbers going to look like? Um, so go into um, no not negative keywords. Go into forecast. Um, hit the geography and find where you're where you're going to target. So um, you know we could do you know, Raleigh Durham. You could find some VA markets right Colorado Springs. You can get really targeted here. Um, you know, you can do Nashville, Tennessee. I know there's some bases around there. Um, okay, and then just hit save, and let's see what we what we can spend. So, uh, at our conversion metrics, our landing pages typically see between 13 and 15 percent conversion rate. Um, now we're going to drop this down, and you know, you can spend upwards of 150, 370 thousand in a month, which I'm not surprised. Um, and you can adjust your budget. So you're going to say, hey, Google, I want to spend $200 a day. Um, okay, it's about 6000 a month. What are our numbers going to be like? Our average cost per click is going to be about 6 bucks. We could generate 125 leads at a cost per application, at cost per lead of about $49. And that's pretty good, right? So we'll see what those numbers actually look like in the market. Um, but I, I kind of like where, where Google's headed with these with this information. It seems like this could be a very successful campaign. Okay, so again, there's a few that have slipped through the crack. We're going to need to adjust right before we get the campaign launched. Primarily competitor terms. Um, okay, Veterans United. And again, this you can do you know delete these as needed for your own campaigns. Um, but we're going to delete those, and then we're going to – I know there's still a few there, um, but this isn't a real campaign. So hit create a campaign, and then we're going to name this, you know, purchase um, VA loans exact match. It's important you put exact match because, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to launch a duplicate version of this campaign. The only difference is that the match type is going to be phrase or broad to find other keywords that could work. Um, and then you can put your geo, right? So this is um, Colorado, North Carolina, and Tennessee. So we'll just do, let's see, okay. 
and we'll hit save. And so now this is going to create the campaign and we can dive into the campaign configuration um, and actually view the campaign. So hit the view campaign, the campaign name is accurate, marketing objective, Go to, click on networks. So you're going to want to make sure that um, the, the search partners and the Google display networks are unchecked because you know, a big part of what we're doing here is making sure you're only targeting people that are searching in Google. And these two networks are going to take the outside of, um, of the Google search. Make sure your locations are accurate. Okay. Um, budget. Okay, so go into bidding and make sure you change this to um, maxima or manual CPC. We're not going to start on an automated bid strategy for a few reasons because it's going to take a few, you know, it's going to take the bidding strategy time period to learn. When you switch it over to manual CPC, you have to, you can make manual bids for at the keyword level, the ad schedule level. Um, the location level. And so you can see like a great example of this is going to be in location, right? You go to location, you say you're running this for a week and you see that, you know, Raleigh Durham is driving leads at a way better cost per click, cost per lead, I'm sorry, than Colorado. So we're like, hey, we want to push more traffic towards Raleigh Durham. So you can just do, you know, increase the bid to 25% and then decrease this bid to 25%. So now you're telling Google, hey, like, bid higher and bid more aggressively for, you know, RD, Raleigh, Durham area. Um, and, you know, you could also break this out into a separate campaign, just be like, hey, I'm just going to ride with the Raleigh, Durham campaign. Um, but if that's the case, you know, there are other areas you're going to want to make bid adjustments too, right? At the ad schedule level, um, you can make real-time bid adjustments to focus on Monday over Tuesday, noon over 2 o'clock. Um, you can go into keywords and make adjustments. This is where you'll make the, the main amount the main amount. This is where you will make most of your adjustments on, at the um, cost per click level. So go into ad group and just automatically get your get all of your your uh, keywords bids increased to about twelve dollars. Um, get the ceiling up there and then go into your keywords um, and uh, and make adjustments. So you'll see VA loans will probably need to be higher. It's probably a, a more aggressive um, keyword. Um, you'll probably see areas like jumbo loans could be lowered, right? That's probably not a huge priority. You're probably not going to be, see a ton of searches or competitive pressure there. Okay, so that kind of touches a little bit on um, the campaign configuration. Let's go into ads. And I want to, you know, I have a whole other video on writing responsive search ads that I'll link in the description. Um, but I will show just a quick glimpse on what they're going to look like. Okay, so your um, your response to search ads are essentially 15 headlines um, and four descriptions. And Google's going to rotate through all 15 um, and all four of the descriptions and find combinations that are that fit um, that drive conversions and drive performance. Um, so you know, general rule of thumb, you want to make sure your keywords that you're bidding for are reflected in your ads. So if you're searching for VA loans. Make sure that you know you put VA loan eligibility or VA loans near you. Um, you know, get qualified stuff like that. Um, your second, the second headline is going to be focused on your brand. Who are you, right? Um, you know, put your your brand name, um, and then put like a copyright symbol, symbol, a trademark, a registration symbol, something like that that shows your authority in the space. You could even talk about your five-star reviews or anything like that. And then the third type is going to be value proposition. So this one's going to be more focused on, um, you know, what are you offering? Like, do you have a VA loan checklist? Can you, you know, offer them fast pre-approvals? So you're going to want to put stuff like that. So you could put, you know, get pre-approved fast. Your descriptions are going to be a little bit longer, uh, but essentially be the same thing. So talk about you know, the VA mortgage options you have, who you are, what you offer, and give it a few different combinations of that. Um, and then the third part is going to be your landing page, right? So you can have such an amazing um, keyword targeting strategy. You can have great ads, but if they land on a page that is very irrelevant um, or slow on mobile, then you're not going to generate any leads. So here is... Um, a funnel that I've built and I've got a few variations of these right kind of start the zip code and then it goes um, through a set of questions but look you want to talk about your your call to actions getting pre-approved you have VA loans you have your, another call to action another um, value prop checking your updated eligibility requirements um, this mix of um, 
of keyword or of uh, copy and relevancy um, on a really quick loading page is really effective. So our pages see, like I mentioned before, you know, very high conversion rates at about 13 to 15 percent because we always maintain relevancy. Um, and so if we have an ad group for VA mortgages and we have an ad group for um, VA calculators, right? We're going to want to make sure that you know while the actual form might not change or even format of this page, your headlines have to change. So, you know, get access to a VA calculator, see how much you can afford. That's going to be the focus on your VA calculator ad group. If you just have a general VA loans ad group, um, this one's going to be great for that, right? So you want to make sure you kind of can maintain relevancy in multiple landing pages and landing formats. Um, okay, and then the last thing I want to talk about is going to be negative keywords. Um, so let's go into our negative keyword list. So, you know, a big part of running a successful Google Ads campaign really just comes down to, um, you know, creating targeted audience and getting away from bad traffic and fraud and irrelevant clicks, right? Um, and a big way you do that is creating a negative keyword um, library that can negate certain types of searches, right? Um, so I have a whole list of you know mortgage mortgage competitors so that you never rank for mortgage competitors. Um, we've got a whole list of refinance keywords so that you, your purchase ca campaigns never trigger refinance searches, right? Um, and then inversely, if we want to run a refinance campaign, we can deter them from purchase type searches, right? Uh, and that's a big part of, of doing this well. So yeah, that's really it. Um, if you like this video, you know, give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, um, and hope to see you guys on the next one.